My name is Jerome Turner. And I'm a uh, citizen of Phillips County. I live at this present time in Poplar Grove, Arkansas here, which is close to Marvell, between Marvell and, and uh, West Helena. Um, I was born really here in Phillips County. <coughs> um, born close to Oneida, Arkansas. Uh, some people say Oneida, but it's the same word. Uh, and it's uh, on 85 Highway there going towards Lakeview. Uh, I've been in. I served in the uh, in the U.S. Army for a, a long time. I uh, and I'm a veteran uh, from from uh, the Vietnam era war, and of course from uh, Grenada and things like that. So I've stayed in the military for quite some time. Uh, I uh, attended the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, and of course uh, University of uh, Arkansas Baptist College in uh, Little Rock, so uh, I attended those two Arkansas institutions, colleges uh, here. I uh, <clears throat> came back out of the military and uh, began to do some entrepreneurship and farming and trucking and, uh, and of course then became a pastor of some local churches and after becoming a pastor of local churches here in the Marvel community, uh, I was asked to start doing more volunteer work in the community working with uh, either the churches or working with the youth groups or just doing some things in the community. And so after being asked to do that, uh, of course, I through that I became acquainted with uh, BJCDC. And uh, after being acquainted with BJCDC and Ms. Beatrice Sheldon, Ms. Uh, Gertrude Jackson, and others who are part of the BJCDC staff, uh, I began to try to do some volunteer work and work with them. And from there, uh, I was asked to sort of head up the youth department in the BGA CDC, and it's called Youth and Family Services Department. So uh, I uh, <clears throat> I do that. I, I work with the Youth and Family Services Department. I've been working there for about four years plus now with the Youth mm -hmm. and Family Services, and uh, begin to like it. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the high well, points. Youth, youth mm -hmm. and Family Services. We do one of the things that we're most famous for is our summer day camp program. Our summer day camp program is a program that we here at BJCDC uh, this year, uh, year 2010, and we are partnered also with these partners in 2009, but in 2010 we are partnering with USDA, FDA, uh, Winfield Rockefeller Foundation, Children's Defense Fund, and, uh, and of course BJCDC. Uh, we are, we are doing, in our summer day camp program, we are doing a nutritional piece, which is uh, uh, sponsored by the USDA. It's called Nutritional Education. We are doing from the Rockefeller piece, we're working with Rockefeller and Children Defense Fund to do a Freedom School piece, which, is, uh, which will have the integrated reading curriculum from the Children Defense Fund. It's a Freedom School, what they call it. And so we're doing that with them. FDA, we're working with partners from the FDA, and, and they are from down at uh, NCTR, which is down in Jefferson, Arkansas, close to Pine Bluff there. We are working with them to do a nutritional and a vitamin, should I say vitamin level, and uh, uh, to find out what vitamin levels are in the blood uh, of our, some of our participants here in the Marvel and Elaine community. Our summer day camp program, <clears throat> we run it from from Elaine and from Marvell. We have two camps. One camp is in Marvell and another camp is in Elaine. And we're looking to have 50 participants in each one of these camps this year. Uh, and as a volunteer, we do what we call community-based participatory research. And so to be a part of the research, it has the, uh, the uh, community persons have to volunteer. This is Turin and Aldoc have to volunteer to be a part of the research. But you can come to our summer program and be a part of our summer work program without being in the research. So we do have some what we call scholars. They are young kids from the ages of 6 to 14. We have them and they can come to our summer program and be a part of our summer work program without being in the research. And their parents can, uh, can also sign up to be in the research. What we're doing research on, a community-based participatory research on, is we are looking at the vitamin levels in, in the blood, uh, as I said earlier, the vitamin levels in the blood of our scholars, which is the young people, and in course in their parents. And all of this is working with uh, USDA and 
FDA and of course others who are looking at how we can help combat uh, obesity in, uh, in the Delta. And so we are just part of what you could say uh, a research piece or a piece looking to how, how we can combat obesity. When we say, when we say scholars, we, we are looking for, of course, young persons who we can perhaps have some kind of impact in their life. We're looking for young people who may even have some academic challenges or who may have some behavior challenges or just young people who their parents is looking for a good place for them to go to have some structured uh, summer fun and a summer program. And our program is designed to do all of those. Uh, and so uh, we are there, there again, like I said, the scholars are uh, 6 to 14. Mm -hmm. They are normally persons who are in the Marvel. And since we have, uh, since, since Marvel School has expanded, or since the Marvel School District now has become the Marvel Elaine School District because of school consolidation, we are looking for children from the Marvel community and from the Elaine community to be a part of our scholars program in the summertime. Uh, our summer program is normally a five or six week program. This summer, uh, 2010, it will be a six week program. And we'll start in June and end in the end of July. Our, our program, when we say scholars, our program has to uh, have some what we call interns or some persons to be in charge of the scholars and teach the scholars. And so we have selected what we call servant leader interns. And the servant leader interns are trained by uh, the Children's Defense Fund to do the Freedom School program. They also receive training to also do the nutritional education piece and to do the physical uh, educational piece. And they are also trained to help uh, when we have, uh, when we work with the FDA, we have something called a body bug that we measure the energy output of our scholars every day. Now to do so, of course, we have what we call a nutrition, when we say nutritional education, that's a nutritional education on how to eat and how to eat well, but we also feed our scholars a nutritional meal each day. And we feed them a nutritional meal based on, of course, uh, the USDA standards of nutrition. And so with that, we know uh, the amount of calories that a young child is being taken in in the day's time and so we measure how much output that uh, energy that child is being put uh, being putting out with something called a body bug and so that's part of our research piece. And so at some point in time you will report this, these findings? <coughs> these findings we have we have already we have already uh, returned to the community back uh, for our 2009 research that we did. We came back to the community in April of 2010 and gave the community a report on what we found uh, last year in 2009 in our research piece. And what we found last year in 2009 research piece is we found that here in the Delta, Marvin and Elaine, that uh, our young people were deficiency in some of our vitamins, and one of the vitamins being vitamin D. And I know that, you know, we have much sunlight here, and of course milk is fortified with vitamin D, but we still found out that, they, that we were below national average in vitamin D. And so this year our program is designed to see whether or not we can improve the, improve the vitamin D levels in, uh, in our scholars. That would include more? That would include more, of course, food that would probably have vitamin D in it, and it would probably include more of us trying to push our kids to drink more milk that is fortified <coughs> with vitamin D. And so the, the uh, mentors or the servant leaders, the servant leaders they are students <coughs> or? Servant leaders this year we have, uh, our servant leaders this year are from the ages of 19 to uh, 30. And uh, our servant leaders this year are all college students, presently college students or past college students or college grads. Mm -hmm. And so we have a mixture of college students past college students and college grads. All live in the Marvel all Elaine live, area? All live uh, in Phillips County, yes, Marvel Elaine, Phillips County area. Mm -hmm. Sure. And we have, uh, we, have, we, we have 12 of those employed. This is the, this is the ratio. Uh, the ratio is 10, 10 scholars to one servant leader intern. Mm -hmm. And when we say, and so one servant leader intern has 10 scholars that he or she 
is responsible. We have men and women that are civil leader interns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see you have the, a chart up here on, on the board mm -hmm. talking about I assume those, those are some of your partners or yeah, we, we have we Tell have some uh, we have some partners that would support our program, and uh, we have uh, uh, as I stated earlier that we have USDA, uh, which uh, support us with our nutritional piece, and of course working with the obesity piece here in the uh, Marley Lane area, and of course we have FDA, uh, which they are from NT NCTR, and they are working with. Uh, the input and output of energy and uh, the nutritional or vitamins within uh, the serum, the blood there is, of our scholars. Winfrey Rockefeller uh, is one of our uh, partners who uh, also USDA and FDA also uh, support us uh, uh, financially. And of course Winfrey Rockefeller this year has funded a three uh, city uh, freedom School effort. Uh, we are having to be one of the partners here in Marvel. They, we have a, they funded a, a site in Marvel, Miranda, and in Google. And it's a two-year collaborative with uh, Winfrey Rockefeller to, to do that. They are uh, funding us to have the Freedom School training or from the Children's Defense Fund. And so that's one of our partners. The Carl B. King Foundation is a partner that helps us do our after-school program and it helps us to do something which we are looking to, uh, should I say, tile most of our programs under something called the Delta Reach and Teach effort. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking to, we're looking to do that. The Carl B. King effort is an effort that works with youth from the ages of 9 to 14. And of course, the Arkansas Community Foundation is working with our children from the ages of 6 to 14. So we have those two organizations working together to help us to have a, an after-school an after school program, mm -hmm. help us to have an after-school program and a uh, non-school hour program mm -hmm. that will uh, reach and teach, that will reach and teach some uh, mm -hmm. uh, scholars as we would call them, from the ages of 6 to 14. Mm -hmm. when, and and uh, one, of, one of our other partners, uh, uh, one of our other partners is, of course, the VISTA and AmeriCorps uh, uh, effort there. And the VISTA and AmeriCorps, they provide us with young persons, uh, some who are still in their 20s, and then, of course, uh, some seniors who are more, uh, more mature that normally works as directors or supervisors over some of our programs in the youth and family services. So a lot of your work is done through collaborative efforts. Yes. G give us your take on the value of that or the learning opportunity from that or challenges well, well, we could, that you we could, find we could not. We could not. Uh, one of our other partners would be uh, uh, Children Defense Fund Freedom School, but we could not do the things that we are doing here at DJCDC without uh, partnership because uh, for instance with the Children's Defense Fund they provide our interns with valuable knowledge on a national level and then they bring that knowledge back here and of course deliver the integrated reading system but they have been exposed to national issues they learn how to uh, uh, to do uh, civic engagements and uh, uh, so, uh, social action projects mm -hmm. And so those things that they learn to do, they learn how to lobby on the part of children and family. And so they learn that from the Children's Defense Fund and bring that back to our community and work on behalf of that. Mm -hmm. And so without their training, uh, we, would, we would probably not be able to do some of, those, some of those pieces that we do. We would truly not be able to have a summer day camp program or a Delta Reach and Teach program without the collaborative partners of persons, like I said, the Rockefeller Foundation, USDA, Carl B. King, or, or the Arkansas Community Foundation. We would not be able to do those projects without that because they provide resources for us to, to employ mentors or and to even buy supplies and equipment for our youth and scholars mm -hmm. to, to utilize. Mm -hmm. One last question. Um, if a, a person, a group of person wanted to come to model mm -hmm. the BJCDC service area to 
volunteer to work or become a part of what you're doing. What kind of, I mean, and you had to give them advice, what kind of advice would you give them? What would you want them to be like or to operate like or to consider before they come? Well, um, if they had to come tomorrow from outside of Arkansas or just even in or Arkansas, just outside just, of Mall. Just outside of Mall. Well, one thing I would uh, I would want them to have an open mind that here in the Delta there there are uh, talents, uh, there are abilities here in the Delta. Sometimes our talents or our abilities may be sort of raw because uh, we may have not understood how to form or shape them in a way that they could be utilized. But there are talents and abilities here, so so you need to come with the attitude that persons here can achieve and can do some things because sometimes on a national level it's made to look as though that people in the Delta and other regions of the United States uh, would not have abilities to do anything. But we, but there are great abilities here, there are great talent here that can do pretty much anything that can that needs to be done. Sometimes it's not always shaped or formed in a way uh, to, to accomplish a goal. So I'd ask them to come with an open mind to do that. But then I'd also ask them to come with an open mind to be able to impart some things that they have learned or, uh, or should I say, achieve elsewhere to share those things with us that we might learn from them. Mm -hmm. And and if you come with a mind to, to teach and to share, then I think uh, sharing and teaching can uh, can 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 be a two way street mm -hmm. from them to us and from us to them. And so I, I believe that can be that can help. I I see that uh, when we talk about partnering, mm -hmm. there are uh, for instance with the College of Public Health, there are things that we do here at BJCC, there are advice and and the things that we get from the College of Public Health that we would that we would not receive if we did not have that relationship with the College of Public Health because uh, you know it's just uh, invaluable to ask the person to uh, to chair a, a a focus group meeting for you who have that talent to do so or that uh, that technology and talent to do so which we may not have right here in house at BJCDC but we can call on people like the College of Public Health and other persons to help us to do that and achieve those things. And so that's an invaluable uh, resource that we have a link to that we would not have if we did not have partners or we would not uh, uh, link with partners. Well, <clears throat> I'm working on, and, and I know you're doing the interview with me, but there are many persons that work with me or behind the scene mm -hmm. uh, uh, at this time. Mm -hmm. I, I am... Uh, uh, I'm hoping that we will put together a type of program mm -hmm. that uh, we can take from BJCDC mm -hmm. and that we will have uh, resources and, uh, should I say, we would have a manual, mm -hmm. a manual of operation or a manual of direction mm -hmm. that we will have already printed up that we can take that manual and that we can share what we have learned over the many years mm -hmm. and take that to some any other community, wherever it may be, mm -hmm. and uh, that we can coach them to do the things that we do here in the Delta. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say that, <clears throat> I say that because uh, we are doing research at a different level than most persons have ever thought about doing community-based participatory research. We're also partnering with different partners at a different level that uh, have not had an opportunity to partner on this level with before. And so, therefore, that's, that's, that's why I'm, I'm saying that I'm hoping, hopeful that I, we could take what we've learned here and put it together in a, in a form of a manual, put it together in, in form of a book, and utilize that information and share it with others.